Hey guys, today we're going to do the third page, the back side of the third page in the Remnants Lovely Layers Graphic 45 Fairy Dust mini album that I uh, designed for the Maidicon. Again, I wanted to tell you guys, just real quick, you're probably tired of hearing it, but I recorded these in February, so um, by the time you see this, my, a couple months might have gone by already. So uh, just keep that in mind um, when you've got questions or something or, or it doesn't make sense, it's because I recorded this before I recorded anything else. <laughs> so the links to the templates and the build embellishments will be in the description box below, plus all uh, products and things that I'm using, plus the playlist for the Remnants Lovely Layers, a mini album. Um, the YouTube playlist. So, the Graphic 45, sorry, I was, <laughs> I'm back to you. This is the paper, Graphic 45 Fairy Dust. I'm using both of these. Um, also, any products that I use that I already say that will be in the description box below. There'll be links to different stores. Um, so if you want to check them out or to see if you can find them or whatever. So, we're going to be doing page three, the back side. Now, this one is fun. It's simple, but fun. So, I think it is anyway. So we're going to be using page number five. So I've printed it off onto some of the uh, patterned paper, cut it down to eight and a half by 11, printed it off. And um, so that's page number five. And then we're going to use page 14. We're going to use one of these little fun flips. I think we're going to use fun flip number one. So we've already used the other parts of this page. So let me move this out of the way. All right. So what we're going to do whoops, is this page right here. We're going to do this back part. So we're going to be doing a side pocket um, for this one. And all I need to do is there, uh, no, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate it right here. I don't think there's a direction on this paper. Watch, as soon as I cut it, I find it. It's just a bunch of pretty flowers. All right, I'm gonna cut this part right there. You probably couldn't even tell, but there was a tab right there, so I just cut, the, between the two tabs, I just cut both tabs off. Um, and I'm gonna put these aside. And then uh, I'm gonna trim this piece off right here. And then, so I'm going to need all three tabs. Once again, you can't see every line on the tabs, and that's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm going to use Fun Flip number one, and I'll separate it from its partner number two, and we're going to use this. So, let me put this down. All right, so let's go ahead and cut these this out better. Oh, I should be using my big scissors. Oh, shoot. Oh, one of these days I'll learn how to work my phone. Okay, sorry about that. It was just a stupid um, robocall, I think. It looks like it's coming from somebody you know or whatever. Y'all know which ones I'm talking about. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just use these around the corners now of that and then we're just oh, I better use my small ones we're gonna tab these corners all right Now I'm going to get my scoring tools out. I've got the EK Tools scoreboard and a stylus. And I'm going to go ahead and score all three. Careful not to press too hard with graphic 45 paper. You don't want to go through if you're heavy handed like I am. Okay. All three. Oh, see, I just did it. I just did it. Y'all didn't hear that. Y'all didn't see that. That didn't happen. Nope, that did not happen. Okay, it didn't. I don't know what y'all are talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep all these score marks. All 
All right, now I'm going to ink everything up. I'm going to ink the front and back of this, and I'm going to ink all the way around that with Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then uh, this is a Tim Holtz blendy tool. It's not a blendy tool, but it could be a blendy tool. And I'll be back. Okay, I've got them both inked up. Now I'm going to put some tape on them. Um, this one right here, going to all three tabs. These are Tim Holtz Tonic little mini five inch scissors. I think it's five inch. Five inch, seven inch, and nine inch. Why can't I say inch? <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having issues. I don't know if y'all have noticed by now, but in this little mini album, um, I'm recording like two or three, uh, sometimes even four videos a day for this because I am running out of time. So I'm just trying to, um, trying to get it all done before the Maticon, basically. All right, so this is going to fit there. So I'm going to put this piece of tape on the inside here, like that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to attach this down before I attach this main base layer three to the page. I just think it might be a little easier. So I'm just going to lay it on here, like so. Oh my gosh, why do I feel like that's moving? Because it is. All right, we're not going to lay it on there like so. <laughs> I think I'm getting slap happy. All right, let's put tape back over top of that. That was a bad idea. Don't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna lay this on there like so. That's what we're doing. Okay. So now we've got the flap there. And then let's go ahead and attach it down to the page. We're gonna attach this long piece to the side pieces. flip this around and attach it this way. Probably would have been easier to do this before we attach these pages into the book, huh? Okay, let's try it this way. And so we got a little bit sticking up, but that's okay. I'm just going to ink it just a little bit. All right, so now I already know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to be using one of my build embellishments, and I'm going to be using a rusted paper clip. If I haven't done that video already, how do I, how do I rust things, <laughs> then um, I will soon, but I probably have already by now. So I'm going to take a piece of this cheesecloth here. I'm going to open it up, and I'm just going to, let's see, how do I want to do this? I just want to put a piece, I just want a piece, so I'm just going to cut a slice off, and then put this back. All right, let me, let me cut this out. Well, first, let me watch it. I'm going to score it first, or I'm going to attempt to right there on that line. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold it. So the only thing, let's see, I just need to be careful because it doesn't really matter though, honestly. Because this top and bottom here, the only one that really helped was the top, that's okay. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like 
layered look here. You can cut it straight if you want, but I like the way it looks layered. I, I'm sure you've already been told this, but it's one of my paintings. You can actually see the date when I painted it. Um, it was on our 20th wedding anniversary. We went on a lovely trip. I painted it on the beach. All right. So I'm going to ink this up really quick. So my thinking is I wanted to put a paper clip like right here so that way it could be used as a paper clip but then I also want to sandwich this fun flip and this underneath in between and all of that and do it like this don't you think that'd be cute so I think what I'm gonna do is it doesn't look like I need that edge I have nail I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue it and then mess with it. I just think it's a cute idea where it looks like it's paper clipped together and I don't know, it's just layers, layers of yummy. And then you can actually use the paper clip to um, hold stuff down with. Let's see, I'm going to be trimming some of that off so I'm not really worried about the cheesecloth so I'm gonna go about right there just like that right Oop. and then I'm gonna put glue on the back side here and I'm gonna close it up it's just so cute it, it's so cute there's it simple but it sure does add an awful lot of interest to this page. Okay. Let me make sure I've got it where I want. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so now I want to go through, I think, and trim some of this off. Just kind of in a rough fashion. And then I might even like twist some and tuck it, twist and tuck a little bit. Since the Fabri-Tac gives you time to like work with it, it doesn't dry immediately, but it does grab pretty quick, so that's nice. Right? Looks cute. I don't know, it just adds a layer. I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? So once that's dry, like I said before, you know, you could, let me find that other, you could slide something under there to hold it, you know, like your journaling card or whatever. I think it's cute. Okay, um, now I need to do the side pocket insert. All right, I got the side pocket insert template, a traceable template, and then I've got a, piece, a large cutoff piece. And once again, I'm gonna use this that has, the, that I left the, um, the strip on. I'm going to use that to my advantage and I'm just going to trace around it. Okay. Cut it out. go ahead ink it up both sides all right I've got this inked up on both sides front and back front and back 
And then I'm going to do a whole reinforcement sticker. I think I'm going to use the green. And I'm going to do it down here at the bottom. I think. Yeah. Maybe right here. And I'm going to punch a hole. Maybe I'll do purple on this side. What the heck? What the heck? And then I'm going to add some twine to the end there so for a pull. It fits all the way in there. So that's it. See, I told you guys it was simple, but cool. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that circle. And then there is a link to my Etsy shop right here if you want to check out the templates or the build embellishments. And you may like some of the other videos that you see. I will see you guys next time. Bye.